extra pick. And new team's pick is like Gauntlet again. Maybe, maybe I'm just wrong though. I was wrong last game. <laughs> like, the rate depends. Like, it depends on this off lane. Like, this spirit break around dying on it. Had the numbers advantage here. FN is no, still in the top lane, but. Go Black starts leading things off. Three man decay to start things. Okay, that's a good start. Charge comes in. Able to get that telekinesis. Pulls him right back into Kudas. And will be able to get a lot of uh, damage out with that Rock Barrage. Still Go Black looking for more. Managed to get another two man decay. And Kudas only left with 100 HP. They've got another decay up in five seconds. Plus the charge coming in. Sineko is not going to be able to stop this one at all. The charge lands. And with another decay, they'll finish him off. First blood goes to Go Black. And now Sidoy, well, he's in some trouble. Still tanky as all hell. Though, and he's got a potion. If you can just get it out of range of these supports, you'll be good. PSM trying to get the orb walking as best as possible. We'll be able to tell Kinesis, Cedoy. Oh, a couple more right clicks. And Echo's actually dropping pretty low, but they finally do get Cedoy. And now Go Black is left to a point where his decay stacks are actually beginning to run out. So he can't fight any longer. Beginning to run out. So he can't fight any longer. They got the first blood. Did they get the bounty rune? He's just out of rush now, I think. Yeah. yeah, they got both variants. Oh, um, so Queen of Pain. Oh, he's not suicide, though. I guess he has a plus. Hmm. I, I would have thought just because of low of mana Is that he, he would have been willing to. Uh... Oh, Bloodseeker. <laughs> yeah, okay. Off lane Bloodseeker. Already. Not... What's Gold Black doing? Oh, he's waiting for his fucking decays to run out so he can plus. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude, just suicide. Yeah. Unfortunately, he had to stick. <laughs> Alright, well, Cedoy is actually going to leave lane and go for the charge here in middle. Dendi is low already. He's got wind run. Will be able to get it off. And Telkinese is actually nice toss back onto Yoku, who still has a blink, but they're actually going to turn on to PSM with that double damage. Sineko comes in with a save, though, with a cold embrace. And they'll wait this one out. Yoku still wants to be able oh, to go for it. Oh, who gets the bash and the double damage hit? We'll finish it off. Now let's go for Dendi still. Wind run is still up, though. And they're right underneath the tier one tower. Yoku comes forward, still has a shadow strike. Cedoy, though, will go down eventually, but he got another set. 17% up okay, against Dendi. Finally he falls. The beast is down, but he picked up two kills for all his efforts. Yeah, I mean, it's not good. I don't think it's real bad anything. It's I don't, good. I don't think it's paying off. They are going to jump him now. They might have enough damage. They do have the Sonic Wave, but never mind. Cold Embrace is there, and there's not enough burst damage coming out. Now they're going to slow down Cedoy. Charge up in three seconds. Telkinesis come back. Dendi, Shackle Shot doesn't quite land. Maybe they still have the damage. So it turns around. And actually, Sonic Wave still hits Dendi. They're able to finish him off. And Cedo makes a run for it. Is Yoku able to pick up the double kill? Sineko will just have to TP out. Great turnaround play there from Cedo. seeing the opportunity for the charge. This very brick. No, no, he's not, he's not, actually, he's actually not happy at all. Well, he's got his level six pretty early. He's going to throw it on FN. Doppelganger is up. But, eh, funny, can he actually take this one? The nukes are there for the silencer. Is he gonna die? Oh, that's just too much damage with the Blood Rage. Sucks so though, he, he didn't get the regen room because it's, uh. It was in the bottom room, so it's on do they have the shackle? Oh, they do. Perfect toss back there from PSM to line up the shackle shot beautifully for Dendi. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, they, uh, well, they tried to go on the gyrocopter, but 17% fanboy. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> I fucking hate that shot. <laughs> oh, funny. He's just going to run down. Go Black doesn't even need his ultimate. He's got so much thirst stacks because there was still that spirit breaker low HP back at the back of the base. The spirit breaker has actually just been... Um, all game, uh, it's just been this river. He's gonna be charged up now, but he's got no backup, and Cedar is still only level four. Oh, maybe they're still gonna go for it. They actually do oh, have the Sonic on. Wave. I mean, he, he can ult him. Oh no, he blinked. Oh, he missed his blink. Oh, yeah, now they're actually gonna try and turn on the Cedar here with the rupture. Goku's still waiting for his opportunity to go for that Sonic Wave, but he needs to heal up, and Funic may still be fine. He's gonna battle it out with Goku a little bit, cold embrace, and now the Global Silence is a response, but. Goku out so just really wasted. back out. Oh, Goku saved them. Like, do you need, do you need that global to make a play? PSM. Nothing he can do here, no backup. Funic doesn't have rupture yet. Sonic Wave comes out. PSM. Oh, Funic actually was hit by that one. He's got to get out of here. Yoku's going to blink forward. Cold and break. Yoku waiting for the screen. Does manage to get the double kill. And now Sineko's got to run himself away. Cedoy. His charge bounced over to neutrals, unfortunately, not the Winter Wyvern. Charge Everyone pulls up. Well, this is going to look pretty easy. Cedoy has his ultimate, so they're going to make sure we're the Gyrocopter. Oh my god. He would have lived. 
Oh, shackle shot, but then he's still met with both no fear and Cito. He's got to get out. Yep. Global up in another 20 seconds. If they want to be able to go for, say, the middle tier one tower, Seneco is going to be hit by that ultimate from Cito and charge back, pushing a little bit more. And a bit of extra intelligence for no fear. The Rubik is like, I wonder if they can defend uh, if they start to their own tower. So they're going to try. Uh, tier 2, FN's going to be able to take it. And they will be able to get the Winter's Curse onto Go Black. Global Silence is the response. He will be able to get off at least the Tombstone. And as well as that Decay will keep him alive long enough to be able to dish out some more damage. Seneco is going to be the next target. FN finishes him off. The Tombstone dies. And Kudus now looks be able to chase down some heroes, but he's actually going to be the one chased down as Cedoy comes in. Doesn't have his ultimate just yet, but between the slow and the 17%, it doesn't seem to matter. They'll pick up an additional kill in the gyrocopter and make it a one for two trade. Yeah, then I get Vitar now. All right, well, FN, he, he just picked up Boots of Travel. I expected him to be spending all his time in the top lane while his team pushes in middle, but he's actually going to be getting aggressive here. They're going to go on to Seneca with this Orchid. Managed to get off the flying bit and get over the trees, but there's still the lands as well as the ultimate. Oh, they actually cancel that. It's Cold Embrace. Yoku will just take out that sitting duck. He'll take that tier one tower in response. Navi are actually getting, uh, I feel like, a lot. Looks like Funnick is not going to be completing the uh, the S and Y. He's going to be going for the BKB first. Feels like it is a bit necessary. PSM gets caught here. Does have a lance as well as telekinesis. Maybe he can. Oh, oh. Charge slower. Never mind. Charge slower. He's got another strike. Oh, oh man. Yeah. He wanted to be able to steal the charge, but unless he's going to juke his way out of this. Yoku. Oh. Oh, so fast. Do you see that? Yeah. There's, there's no animation. So probably another two to three minutes, especially if they take down those. I thought you were absolutely right. They would just five man down top. Dendi is going to be in some trouble. He managed to get off the wind run ahead of the Orchid, but it doesn't really matter too much. The Orchid of Cedo, he keeps him in place, and they will be able to get the kill. And now... They, they, are, they are five man top. Yeah. It, it, just the way you do it is... For the straight damage builds, Crystalis. Dendi's fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, go Black. He's going to be able to sim. Started things off, managed to push it back, and they even have the boots of travel. Dendi, nice play, actually killing that zombie, but he's out of wind run, and that makes things a lot easier for Cedoy as well as the zombies. They'll get the pick off, and Yoku is now running into all of his team. He does still have his Aegis. He's going to turn and fight as best as possible. Three man Sonic Wave. He'll come back with a second life. They do have the ultimate from Zeneko, but they're not even going to try and chance it, especially with Global. Oh, Sonic. what? Oh, and that's what happened. Okay, I was like, I was like, well, how come he's charging the base? So he's the owner is going to push. And Mona is very good, like, AoE damage is very good on most of because... Oh, Seneco! He's been spotted out, he puts himself right up against the it's trees, he's trying to get out, but... Does he, does he know? Does he know? I... would hope so. Yeah, because he died first, and he wasn't there to spam at all. Can you talk about the Manta on the Bloodseeker when he already has BKB? Oh, Manta pops right as the uh, ultimate was attempted there from Cedo. They do have the global silence. It looks like Cedo is just going to TP back to base during that global. No uh, abilities to be able to stop that out. Now they're actually going to turn Sonic Wave, lands on three, and they do manage to get an okay blood right, but it's still not enough. It's turn Sonic Wave actually turned around on Yoku, but it doesn't matter. He popped his BKB and will be able to get out quite easily. And if anything, our gyrocopter is going to be caught as FN turns his attention from the Rubik, who's already dead, now to the gyrocopter, picks up a third kill. It looks like a tier 3 tower is exactly on the menu here for new team. Radiant's bottom tower is oh. under attack. Gyrocopter forcing the buyback. They don't have a buyback on Funnic, and the creep wave's just so slow. Finally, it's here, but new team are only going to get so much damage. I would imagine uh, V can still try and fight them 4 versus 5. I think we can get the fuck back. They get a tower first, they get the fuck. No, I think they should get out now, right? They should wait for ages. Don't, don't push this dude. He just buys two smokes and pop them both. They have no items that they're buying. Like, everyone has auto items. No one has any gold under heroes. Oh, Shackle Shot actually snatches Cedoy here. They have the blood right to be able to make sure he can charge away Glimmer Cape, but it's still not enough. Funnick still had vision. Now he's going to be able to turn for another one, Fear. 
He's going to be definitely done for. It's Funnick is right clicking him down. It's actually going all right, but Funnick will eventually lose it. Now Winter's Curse plays on Yoko. Funnick can actually get this kill, but not in time. Yoko's actually able to get the turn around, and now with that Ben, this fight's going to go real poorly. Now for Navi. They're just trying to make an extraction, it looks like. Still, though, the gyrocopter is definitely going to be hunted down by both the PL as well as the Queen of Pain. A two for two where they lose their one and I, I guess they're kind of two position with the uh... They're trying to speak, so he needs material. Okay. So you just poke, poke, back up, rely on that regeneration. Uh, FN, I'm a little deep here, but there's no real danger. Just not any damage. Yoko's actually going to come forward, finish off PSM with that Sonic Wave. Funnick lands a rupture on him. BKB is a response. He still has a blink if he wants to. And will pop it now. It's Funnick. Instantly another Manta, but another Strike will still go off with FN right on top of him. Funnick, is he going to be able to survive in time? Cold Embrace is actually the lead opening for FN to maybe be able to burn him out, especially with a purge. Funnick doesn't stand a chance. Dendi has to hide underneath this mountain now. There goes that focus fire on FN. Doesn't have a doppelganger for another second, but he's got the heals as well as that heart. That'll start kicking into play now. That melee racks will end up falling here, and Navi gonna have to force a four versus five if they want to save anything else. But the rain track simply is not gonna be worth it. Illusions? Eh, it looks like enough to be able to finish off that rain track, so Navi still lose that. Play. If they get caught roaching, they're probably just gonna tap out from there. Bring it in. They're, getting, they're getting things out right now, so they're yeah. gonna go. Yoku's got the Sonic Wave there in a really bad position. This one, no fear. It's gonna be the first caught. Start backing them up, playing this game carefully around it. They do get the Tombstone out, no fear now. Winter's first up. They will be able to burst him down finally. Yoku kind of lost that one, and Zeal's been not really good, but still, they are dishing out enough damage to be able to win this fight nonetheless. Cedoy now turns to Denny, pops that another strike. FN just easily cleaning up hero after hero, trying to finish off the Queen of Pain. Still not enough. FN clean up the Roshan, Funnick. Has to pull out a miracle here, but can't even catch the Queen of Pain. So it's going to be the Aegis now going to FN. How does that fix work? And, like, can you select what you want, like, first? Was it random? Uh, I believe it's random for game. Yeah, Holy Master. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> random for game. Yeah, Holy Master. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. Well, I guess we'll see. Like, Sonic gets second pick. Actually, no. I think it's um, random, and then you get to choose. Yeah, but what is this? I mean, they're obviously scared of Lush Rock because he's it, it, in the first and the fourth. I mean, it's your first pick. So Na Navi needs to get first pick again. They're actually going to go for this one. Focus fire and Cedoy, but it's just not doing anything. He's hitting him with wet noodles. Cedoy's actually going to turn and fight Global Sounds. PSM's going to be pretty easily cleaned up. Shiva's comes forward. Sonic Wave all the way going back to the Gyrocopters. Now he's going to be defusaled up. Even with Cold Embrace there, he'll lose all of his mana in the process. And FN actually just turns to go for a die back on PSM. He's going to go down as well. The Telekinesis will stun up FN for a little while. Now the Winter Scourge right in front of the Phantom. They do manage to keep the illusions alive inside the fountain long enough that Cedoy doesn't take any damage from that one. Still, though, they finish off the tier three. We'll look to take the rest of these Raxes and Navi with only two heroes left. No way they can prevent Baker He's not that bad, I mean, he can do it. Yep. He's going for it, because why not? The charge comes through as well. Zdenko keeps himself alive for as long as possible. Jar pops is up next. Very dominant return there from new team in game number two. 11 to 36. Yeah, crushed them. They, they, they never lost the... They had advantage the whole game. Look at him. Look at him go. He could probably sell his drums and buy like another talisman innovation. Yeah, he can't buy there, though. That's the problem. Oh, that's right. He needs to, like, he needs to drop his uh, travel to buy a... Uh, of hard wire. Navi. Actually being fountain farmed by new team. A lot I'm probably just picking them special. sometimes to collect themselves and pick them up uh, to do you know. No way they're uh, emo right now. <laughs> Alright, so it finally ends game two taken by new team. We will have a game three for this series. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be back after this though. We also have a secondary series. It's going to be five Jungs facing up against the uh, the new Empire team. So you'll definitely want to check that out. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back guys.